Hey, good morning, Daily Dosers. My name's Austin Payne, and I'm one of the high school pastors on the Vista campus. And today we're diving into James chapter three. And I remember specifically when my wife and I first got married, we both grew up in families with dogs and we thought it would be a really good idea to get a puppy together. And what we didn't realize was respectively for both of us growing up that when the family got a dog, it really meant that like mom was taking care of it or dad was taking care of it. We didn't realize the amount of work that went into getting a brand new puppy. And so much of that was potty training. And no matter what we did, no matter like all the YouTube videos that I was researching and reading articles online, that the number one suggestion or recommendation was that you just have to pay attention to your pup all the time. And so what one of the YouTube videos I watched, it was a dog trainer, they suggested taking the leash and kind of putting it through your belt buckles or your belt loops and tying the dog to yourself so that where you go, scout goes. And so we, we tried that for a while and you know, there weren't very many accidents. And it, it seemed like every time we let the pup off the leash and we would turn away for a second, we would turn around to, you know, a pile of pee on our carpet or whatever it may be and have to l clean it up and let them out. And it was just this ongoing process. But the more we paid attention to it and the more we rewarded for, Hey, this is, this is good. And this is bad. And you know how it is with the training of an animal. And but the, I think the thing that I took away from that is you you have to pay attention to it. And this has to be something that's right in front of me at all times. And James chapter three talks about in reference to the tongue, it says in verse seven, all kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures are being tamed and have been tamed by mankind, but no human being can tame the tongue. It's a restless evil full of deadly poison. And I think the same thing is true with our tongues. And, and James is telling us this of you, you can't tame it. And if you can't tame it, you have to pay attention to it daily. Right? Like once your dog's old and grown, you, you don't have to have it tethered to you anymore. You, you understand that it's, it's learned its tricks, it's learned what it can do, and you can let it go and you can let it do its thing and you don't have to pay attention to it. But if something is untamable, then it has to be something that's on the forefront of our minds. It has to be something that we focus on, that we pay attention to. And man, if you're anything like me, I, th I think especially with my words and my thoughts, I tend to either upward spiral or downward spiral. There, there isn't really a lot of in-between ground for me. And I think one of the tips and tricks that the Bible gives us to upward spiral when it comes into the use of our words and our thought life is, is gratitude. My first Thessalonians chapter five will even go as far as to say that this is God's will for our life that in all circumstances, we would be thankful. Uh, Colossians chapter three puts it this way. It says in verse 17, whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. And I think there's this, this challenge and this command even in scripture that we would be giving thanks and that we would be expressing gratitude in our lives. And I know that can be difficult at many times to, to find something to be grateful for, but I find for myself that the more that I practice this, the more that I pay attention to it on a daily basis and, and even having a, a note card or a journal present or open up a note on your phone and expressing even the small things that we can give uh, gratitude for and we give thanks for, man, I find myself spiraling in that direction of, I want to give thanks more. I want to express gratitude and, and my tongue and my thoughts are used for that. And, and kind of the opposite is true for me too. If, if I'm not expressing gratitude and if I'm not giving thanks, I find myself downward spiraling where it becomes easier to complain and it becomes easier to grumble and my, my words might slip a little bit and I might use them unintentionally. I might hurt somebody around me. And it, it really is that downward spiral of getting worse and worse and worse. And Man, between the challenge of James chapter three saying this is untamable, you have to pay attention to it daily, and God's will for our lives expressed of, would we be people that give thanks, that practice gratitude? And, and even in the difficult times where it seems like there's not a lot to give thanks for, I find myself writing those things down and practice it, and the more I do it, the more I upward spiral, and the more I find my thoughts and my words expressed in the way that I think God desires us to use them. Thanks, Daily Dosers. We'll catch you tomorrow.